он обычно уходил на 3-4 дня. He was ordinarily gone from three to four days. Хотя не было ничего необычного для него пропадать за раз и неделю на ледяных просторах. Though it was nothing unusual for him to stay away a week at a time on the ice field. Всегда он отказывался от компании в этих вылазках. Always he declined company on these expeditions. И люди диву давались. And the people marveled. Как он это делает, спрашивали они друг друга. How does he do it? They demanded of one another. Никогда он не берет собаку с собой. Never does he take a dog with him. А ведь собаки тоже такая большая помощь. And dogs are of such great help too. Почему ты охотишься только на медведя? Why dost thou hunt only bear? Клош Кван однажды осмелился спросить его. Клош Кван once ventured to ask him. И Киш дал надлежащий ответ. And Kish made fitting answer. Хорошо известно, что на медведе больше мяса. It is well known that there is more meat on the bear. Но был также разговор о колдовстве в деревне. But there was also talk of witchcraft in the village. Он охотится со злыми духами, некоторые из людей утверждали. He hunts with evil spirits, some of the people contended. Поэтому его охота удачна. Wherefore his hunting is rewarded. Как еще может быть, кроме того, что он охотится со злыми духами? How else can it be, save that he hunts with evil spirits? Может быть, они не злые, а добрые эти духи, говорили другие. Mayhap they be not evil, but good, these spirits, others said. Известно, что его отец был могущественным охотником. It is known that his father was a mighty hunter. Не может ли быть, что его отец охотится с ним? May not his father hunt with him. Так что он может достигать совершенства и терпения и понимания. So that he may attain excellence and patience and understanding. Кто знает? 
Who knows? Тем не менее. Nonetheless. Его успех продолжался. His success continued. И менее искусные охотники были часто заняты притаскиванием его мяса. And the less skillful hunters were often kept busy hauling in his meat. И в дележе его он был справедлив. And in the division of it he was just. Как его отец делал до него. As his father had done before him. Он смотрел за тем, чтобы самая жалкая старуха и самый последний старик получили справедливую долю. He saw to it that the least old woman and the last old man received a fair portion. Оставляя для себя не больше, чем ему требовалось. Keeping no more for himself than his needs required. И из-за этого. And because of this. И его заслуг как охотника. And of his merit as a hunter. На него стали смотреть с уважением. He was looked upon with respect. И даже с благоговением. And even awe. И был разговор о том, чтобы сделать его вождем после смерти старого Клошквана. And there was talk of making him chief after old Klosh Kwan. Из-за вещей, которые он делал. Because of the things he had done. Они ожидали, что он появится снова на совете. They looked for him to appear again in the council. Но он никогда не приходил. But he never came. А им было стыдно пригласить. And they were ashamed to ask. Я хочу построить иглу. I am minded to build me an igloo. Сказал он однажды к Лошквану и ряду охотников. He said one day to Klosh Kwan and a number of the hunters. Это должна быть большая игла. It shall be a large igloo. Где Айкига и я могли бы жить с удобством? Wherein Айкига and I can dwell in comfort. Так, они закивали головой важно. I, they nodded gravely. Но у меня нет времени. But I have no time. Мое дело охота. 
My business is hunting. И она занимает все мое время. And it takes all my time. Поэтому это только справедливо, чтобы мужчины и женщины деревни So it is but just that the men and women of the village которые едят мое мясо, построили мне мою иглу. Who eat my meat should build me my igloo. И таким образом иглу была построена. And the igloo was built accordingly. С широким размахом. On a generous scale. Которая превосходила даже жилище Клошквана. Which exceeded even the dwelling of Klosh Kwan. Киш и его мать переселились туда. Киш and his mother moved into it. И это было первое благополучие, которым она наслаждалась. И Со времени смерти Бока. Since the death of Bach. Не только материальное благополучие окружало ее. Nor was material prosperity alone hers. Потому что из-за своего замечательного сына. For because of her wonderful son. И положение, которое он дал ей. And the position he had given her. Она стала считаться первой женщиной во всей деревне. She came to be looked upon as the first woman in all the village. И женщины были предрасположены посещать ее. And the women were given to visiting her. чтобы спросить у нее совета. To asking her advice. И ссылались на ее мудрость. And to quoting her wisdom. Когда споры возникали среди них или с мужчинами. When arguments arose among themselves or with the men. Но именно тайна чудесной охоты Киша. But it was the mystery of Kisha's marvelous hunting. Заняла главное место во всех умах. That took chief place in all their minds. И однажды Углук обвинил его в колдовстве. And one day Ahgluk taxed him with witchcraft to his face. Обвиняю тебя, Углук сказал зловеще. It is charged, uh, Gluck said ominously. 
что ты имеешь дело со злыми духами. That thou dealest with evil spirits. Вот почему твоя охота удачна. Wherefore thy hunting is rewarded. Разве мясо не хорошее, ответил Киш. Is not the meat good? Kish made answer. Разве кому-нибудь в деревне пришлось заболеть от того, что ел его? Has one in the village yet to fall sick from the eating of it? Откуда ты знаешь, что тут замешано колдовство? How dost thou know that witchcraft be concerned? Или ты говоришь наугад? Or dost thou guess in the dark? Только потому, что зависть поглощает тебя. Merely because of the envy that consumes thee. И углуб ушел пристыженный. And uh gluck withdrew discomfited. Женщины смеялись ему вслед. The women laughing at him as he walked away. He was ordinarily gone from three to four days, though it was nothing unusual for him to stay away a week at a time in the ice field. Always he declined company on these expeditions, and the people marveled. How does he do it? They demanded of one another. Never does he take a dog with him, and dogs are of such great help too. Why dost thou hunt only bear? Klosh Kwan once ventured to ask him, and Kish made fitting answer. It is well known that there is more meat on the bear, he said. But there was also talk of witchcraft in the village. He hunts with evil spirits, some of the people contended. Wherefore his hunting is rewarded. How else can it be, save that he hunts with evil spirits? Mayhap they are not evil, but good these spirits, others said. It is known that his father was a mighty hunter. May not his father hunt with him, so that he may attain excellence and patience and understanding? Who knows? Nonetheless, his success continued, and the less successful hunters were often kept busy hauling in his meat, and in the division of it he was just. As his father had done before him, he saw to it that the least old woman and the last old man received a fair portion, keeping no more for himself than his needs required. And because of this, and of his merit as a hunter, he was looked upon with respect and even awe, and there was talk of making him chief after old Klosh Kwan. Because of the things he had done, they looked for him to appear again in the council, but he never came, and they were ashamed to ask. I am minded to build me an igloo, he said one day to Klosh Kwan and a number of the hunters. It shall be a large igloo, wherein Aikiga and I can dwell in comfort. Aye, they nodded gravely. But I have no time. My business is hunting, and it takes all my time. So it is but just that the men and women of the village who eat my meat should build me my igloo. And the igloo was built accordingly, on a generous scale which exceeded even the dwelling of Klosh Kwan. 
Kish and his mother moved into it, and it was the first prosperity she had enjoyed since the death of Bach. Nor was material prosperity alone hers, for because of her wonderful son and the position he had given her, she came to be looked upon as the first woman in the village, and the women were given to visiting her, to asking her advice, and to quoting her wisdom when arguments arose among themselves or with the men. But it was the mystery of Kish's marvelous hunting that took chief place in all their minds. And one day a glug taxed him with witchcraft to his face. It is charged, a gluck said ominously, that thou dealest with evil spirits, wherefore thy hunting is rewarded. Is not the meat good? Kish made answer. Has one in the village yet to fall sick from the eating of it? How dost thou know that witchcraft be concerned? Or dost thou guess in the dark merely because of the envy that consumes thee? And Ugluck withdrew discomfited. The women laughed at him as he walked away.